But we got Janet. I think she was about 27 years old in 1993. Still going strong in 1993. Janet with, again, third single, if I remember correctly, second or third single from the album, self-titled. Again, slow jam, a quiet storm record of sorts. Janet Jackson from the movie. Well, actually, it was used as a closing song in a movie that Janet appeared in called Poetic Justice. And the song was used on her fifth album. Start out as an experiment. Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, the producers, they were working on this track. Playing around with it. Nice track. Melodic track. But the, it was just an experiment. Just, well, you know, nothing serious. But Janet Jackson liked the melody to this track. But still, they shelved it. Until... The producers of the film, the producers, the film producers of Poetic Justice, they wanted a ballad. Can you give us a ballad that we can use on the soundtrack? So they unearthed this experimental track. Janet Jackson wrote the lyrics to it, to this track. But it was not used on the film soundtrack. It was used in, as the closing song of Poetic Justice. And it was added to her fifth album, Janet. Went to number one here in the States. Number six in England. And for you music buffs out there, I love it. You know, Wikipedia on these really big hits, these iconic records. Wikipedia will get into uh, the key of the record and the focal range of the artist and the chord progressions and all that. I won't get too deep on the chord progression part of it. But the song, for you music majors out there, written in the key of C major. Again, the song again in C major. Janet Jackson's vocal range from a low tone G3 or G3 to a high tone D5 or D5. Had a nice voice, Janet Jackson. She could be very aggressive and then be very tender at the same time. She's at number 36 on my fancy playlist. It's heading for the top 10. Again, by Janet Jackson. Fancy playlist, October 17th, 1993.